How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Salt Lake Creative Design. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to properly install a ProPage 2, a BitStars ProPage 2. If you already have your uh, BitStars uh, page created and you're wondering how to go about installing it, I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to install it. Now, if you don't know how to, desi how to design a BitStars Pro page, you can head over to SaltLakeCreativeDesign.com and in there I have part one of this tutorial where you can watch the whole, uh, I think it's like 55 minute tutorial on how to design a pro page too, things to keep in mind and also you get templates, uh, uh, PSD templates with the guidelines so you know exactly where to place your, your elements on the, the, on the page so that everything will look good. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to install the pro page. If you have your images ready, just follow along and do everything that I do and um, you should have your uh, pro page installed in no time. And if you're looking to get your, to design your own pro page, head over to selectcreativedesign.com and watch the tutorial, learn how to design it, and then come back to this tutorial and watch the tutorial on how to install the pro page. So let's get to this tutorial. All right, so right here we have the page, the admin page that we get once uh, we log into our BitStars Unlimited account uh, admin panel. This is where we control, this is where you're going to control the page where uh, how your pro page is going to look like. And on this page, you're going to configure all the colors and everything. So again, I'm going to assume that you already have your images ready to go, ready to be installed. You just don't know how to install them and they're all in the right dimensions. You don't need to worry about the placement, how it, they're going to be placed on the on the website because you already know that nothing is going to be overlapping, anything that you don't want it to overlap. So with that being said, um, right here I have all my images ready to go that I created on um, the part one of this tutorial so I have all my images right here and then the colors I have my colors right here for the colors you want to make sure that you grab whatever colors you use on your design and you write them down either in a word document or a text document or anything and the reason why is because you're going to be using these colors throughout your entire uh, pro page so for consistency purposes you want to make sure that you have your colors saved somewhere so you can copy and paste them easily so first we're going to click on the customize and we're gonna click on font. Now the fonts that I'm going to go with are these two. Are this one, which I'm going to click apply and this one, which I'm going to click on apply as well. After I have done that, I'm going to click on um, website logo and I'm going to uh, drag and drop my logo, which is a white one because I want it to be white. So. I'll drag and drop and it's going to be placed right there. Let's see here. After that, I'm going to go to main menu. And in the main menu right here, the background, which can be any color, I'm going to make it a dark gray background. When it comes to colors, you want to make sure that if the background is dark, the content, the text content on top of it is light. The reason why is because of contrast. You want your your text on the website to have a nice con contrast or high contrast. And the reason why is because it it creates um, easy navigation for your potential customers. If uh, someone is visiting your website and your website is not easy uh, to navigate, they're just going to click away and go to someone else's website. So you want your website to be easy to navigate. So yeah, the background is going to be dark gray. The text, the text, uh, the regular bonds are gonna be white. And when they hover over them, they're going to be gold. So as you can see, we go to videos, the text changes to gold. So now I'm going to click on my, uh, right here on the tabs page. You can control which pages you want to be visible up here. Right now I have the display. No, I, right now I have the music, tracks, videos, and contact. So if I were to click on blog and then click on update, it will show the blog on my page. But I want the blog to be up here. I only want these uh, pages to be visible at the moment. So now I click on main background. For the main background, I want it to be dark gray. I want to drag and drop my image right here. And I don't want to crop it because I know that it's the correct dimensions. So don't crop. And then I want to set it to 
the lowest because if you set it high or if you set it kind of high it's not gonna work you want your design to be fully visible so you set the dim to really low mobile background you just drag and drop and again don't do not crop so don't crop image you go to home page text uh, I leave that empty and then color it white but the audio visualizer these are this is these are the bars on the the bars that go up and down when the beat is playing so for that I want the visualizer bars which are the bars that are visible all the time to be white and I want the visualizer progress color which is which shows the progress of the as the beat is playing those I want them to be gold so I'm going to paste my gold color there now I'm going to click on home page main buttons and right here you can control if you want your shortcut buttons I don't like those so I'm going to use the search bar after that I'm going to click on license background which is this background right here and I'm going to make it dark gray but before I do that I wanna when you when you uh, pick your background for the license, you cannot use a really bright color. And the reason why is because you cannot control just the licensing info, um, a title. The title is white and it's going to remain white. So you cannot just go and control individual um, individual items on, on the pro page. One, one change is going to affect multiple things on the pro page. You can only do that when you're creating a custom website. Now, if you want a custom website, you can just hit me up and we can discuss the process and the cost of uh, getting a website done. But for this pro page, you cannot control individual items. So the background of the licensing pages needs to stay fairly dark in order for the title to stand out. So in this case scenario, I'm going to make it uh, dark gray. Right here, if I were to make it, let's say, bright, like yellow, you can see the licensing becomes really hard to read. So you don't want that. You want to use dark gray. Then we move to YouTube video background. And yes, we want that to be on, load related videos. And then YouTube's uh, section background, which is this section right here. For this, I want the background to be dark gray. I want to drag and drop my background image, which I created already. I want to just drag and drop and I want to crop it and my background image now matches my uh, header so we're starting to see consistency on the pro page which is what we want on the membership background again I drag and drop the image and the background color I want to make it dark gray now for the primary buttons this button right here, the red one, I'm gonna make it blue so you can easily see where the buttons are. They're right here. All those buttons, I wanna make them yellow. So I'm going to do that by grabbing the gold and going right here. And then when they hover over them, I want them to be, if I make them green, you can see that the color changes to green. But I don't want that. I want them to be dark gray. So I'm going to select my dark gray and I'm going to paste it here. And as you can see, it comes super handy to have the colors uh, on the side on a Word document because you, you're going to use them when you're setting up your pro page. So you definitely want to put them up there unless you have, a, you have a crazy memory where you can remember a lot of things. Photographic memory, then you don't need that. But for the regular people, for, for, for us, we gotta type it so type it and then just copy and paste so now we're gonna go to secondary buttons on the secondary buttons i'm gonna make this blue so you can see which ones there are they're up here up here up here so now i want to make them yellow or gold and the text inside them i want to leave it as white because i want them to be white I'm going to move to section heading background and then drag and drop the background there. The dim set, set it all the way low and that background is just this one that I just installed is right here on the header of each page. So for example, if I click on a track, the bar is going to expand and the background is going to be more visible. And right there is the background that again matches my home page. After that, we're going to go to layout colors. Now on layout colors, you wanna make sure that you're on the homepage. And the reason why is because that's where you can see most of the things 
most of the changes that are happening as you are uh, making the changes. As you saw me just now, I navigated to other pages to show you uh, the background, but overall I stick to the home page. And the reason why is because again, that's where I can see most, most of the changes that are happening live. So now for the primary background, I, um, that is this right here and this, this and this, that I want to be gold, but I'll make it uh, green just so you can see. If I make it green right here, the button, the licensing and that, I want to make that gold. Now the primary highlight color, that color is this right here. The bullet points and these items right here. I want them to be gold. I want them to be gold. So I'll make them gold. And then for the future back uh, track background color. Now this is the area where the audio visualizer goes. This you want them, if, if your audio visual bars are going to be bright, you want the background to be dark. If the uh, background is going to be light, a light color, you want the audio visual bars to be dark because you want to create consistency so that uh, people can see them easily. So in this case scenario, since my bars are white and gold, I'm going to make this um, dark gray. For the future uh, track color, I'm going to make that white. That's why right here this. <clears throat> so if I make it blue, you will see that. But I like white, so I don't want it to be super crazy. And for the bottom ones, there, this one's right here. I could make them gold, but let me see. I could make them gold. But it's too much gold right next to this big button. And again, I cannot control things individually. So in this case scenario, the best thing to do is to make that white. There we go. It, it's it's nice, nicely balanced like that. So now we go to playlist hover. So that means when you hover over the playlist, it's going to change colors. I want it to be dark gray with white text. So dark gray with white text and then I like that now we're going to click on contact from background I want it to be dark gray so I'll paste the dark gray right there the color you can change the color like say like if I want to do that if I want to do gold but I want to I want to keep it just nice straight to the point so white secondary background color if we change that to green, what is that? This right here. I want them to be light, really light gray, like that. Maybe a little darker, like that. Now I could make it the regular dark gray that I have been using, but that will mean that they will blend out with the background of the licensing. So I don't want that. I want them to be a little lighter. So in this case scenario, I just mess around until I find something that I'm happy with. In this case scenario, that works. Now the alternate background, I'll just make that dark gray. Now we go right here to the footer, footer logo and text, which is this right here. Right now it says Joey. I'm going to drag and drop my footer. The footer um, will always be white. They don't allow you to control the footer, footer color. So for that reason, you want your footer logo to have a, to be a dark color. It doesn't necessarily need to be uh, dark gray like mine. It can be dark red, dark blue, whatever. You just gotta make sure that it's a dark color so that it stands out nicely. Now that we have done that, and the page is already um, set up, we're just gonna click on publish. You're gonna click on publish and your page will save. Once it saves, the page uh, is going to update. So now when you visit your page, uh, when you refresh your page, we're going to refresh it. We're going to play something and you can see the edit bars are white and the progress bar is yellow. When you um, scroll along your page, you can see how uh, your page is configured if we go to tracks we click on the track you can see how the the audio bar is still nicely visible with the background that is dark if we go to contact 
again everything looks nice everything is consistent as well so which is what we want so that is it that is how you install a bitstars pro page 2 for uh for a bitstars account so hopefully this helped you out a lot hopefully you learned something uh new if you already have your page your your images ready for the page and they're already configured on the right dimensions just follow this tutorial and you're gonna be able to install everything remember that consistency is key so you want to make sure that you have your colors um, written down in a text or a word document or whatever so you can just easily copy and paste um, now if you don't know really how to go about designing it make sure to check out part one of this uh, how to install and design a pro page 2 uh, series the part one is located in sallycreativedesign.com Head over there, uh, watch the tutorial. It's a 55 minute tutorial, so there's a lot to learn there. Um, check it out. You can download the templates, uh, the PSD templates, which come with the guidelines. To, uh, and I go over things to keep in mind when creating your pro page. So yeah, just um, check out the tutorial if you're wondering how to design the pro page. After you do that, come back to the tutorial, follow the steps, install your pro page, and you should be good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Until the next.